All right, let's have some fucking fun. <laughs> Go. No, I'm ready to kick the whole division's ass. No, it, take Tyron Woodley out, anybody else. You know, and I, I, I put a whole list of them. There's so many bums in this division that I want to beat up. Uh, I, Colby would be number one on my list. He's probably going to fight Tyron, so I can't. He's very, very, uh, oh, man. He just, he, you know, I was talking about gimmick. I don't know if you guys got that on camera. I was talking about gimmick infringement. He just, like, takes the lowest common denominator of everything, and he does that because he can't think of any of his own material. It's so pathetic. Uh, and then beyond that, he's not a very good fighter. He's wrestling significantly inferior to mine. Uh, who's number two? Help me out. Oh, Till. Till, listen, they told Till I was coming. He said, damn, he's coming. I'm a middleweight. He moved up a weight class because I joined the division. Can you ima imagine that? This man said, Ben Asker's going to be at welterweight. Damn. And he started stuffing his face over there. And where does he live? London? Somewhere? Liverpool. 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 He's in Liverpool just stuffing his. What do they eat over there? Fish and chips. Fish and chips. Fish and chips, fish and chips all day long. Fish and chips. I'm a middleweight now. Uh, number three, he's busy. Dos Anjos. Uh, and you know, number four and five, listen, I don't really have any issue with these guys, but I'm here to fight people. And so, you know, Thompson seems like a nice guy. Karate's not gonna work on me, so what, he can try it, whatever. Uh, and Lawler, he seems like a nice guy too. I actually like him, but I'll fight him, no, no big deal. So, you know, I hope they give me some, someone high ranked. I picked on Till, because he's the highest ranked guy available. He's ranked number two. Um, and we all know, obviously, my dream fight would be George, but George won't even answer Twitter, let alone get in a cage. So who, who knows what he's doing? What about the Diaz brothers? Oh, they're too high. I don't think they even realize what's going on right now. <laughs> I think they smoke so much weed that they don't realize I'm calling them out. He wrote me a rap. Um, wait, okay, know, wait, let me see. You want to try now? I'm not in front of everybody, so I might not be so shy. I don't I'm know, Funky man. taking on Ruthless. I'm going to leave him toothless. I'm going to leave him toothless. T Wood said, let's hit the booth. I said, yo, homie, let's do this. Ever since I've been in the UFC, people have been my phone line. I ain't about games. I'm zone time. Wait, hold on, hold on. I made up a new end line for you. I made up a new. Once I'm done with these welterweights, even Dana's going to have to say, I'm great. Wow. Alright, 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 alright. Oh, you guys been waiting years for this shit. I can't talk. There's no way that affects my way. It's impossible. Yeah. So, I'm gonna show some real violence. One time, once upon a time in Milwaukee, a young Kevin Lee showed up at Duke Rufus Gym. Yes. And uh, Duke said, hey, there's this young kid. Can you, can you work out with them? And it was just too easy to take him down. I started feeling really guilty about it. So I let up for well, the no, 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 look, look, look. Let's tell the it's story okay. right. You've been doing good since then, Let's Kevin. tell the story right. right. Your stand-up was so bad that I was like, I didn't want to hit you that hard. And you went full blast on a double leg as I'm, like, touching you. Let's tell the story. If you're going to tell the story, speak some truth. If yeah, I you know me, guilty. You know I feel me, guilty about what I was doing Speak facts. Here. Facts when you see it. That's right. You've been doing a good job since then. But I did feel guilty. That day, I felt guilty. I didn't want to disappoint Duke by not having you come back. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. Like you said, I was a young, young Kevin Lee, so I, I learned a lot. That's, that's going to be fun. And when this fight was first made, you told me that you thought it was made because Dana White thought Robbie Lawler could beat you. After the nice exchange that you guys had earlier, do you still think that? I don't know, Dana. What do you think? And I'll, I, I'll answer second. You know, you know how many times I've been through that in my 20-year career? The paranoia of fighters that I'm trying to get them beat? It, listen, this, this, when you come to the UFC, you fight the best. He's one of the best in the world. You know what I mean? He's, he's undefeated. You're going to fight the best. You're going right into the, to the, to the top of the heap. Uh, you're you're going to fight nothing but the best here. So believe me, that isn't the first time I've heard that one. Believe me. But, okay. I don't determine who wins or loses here. These guys do. I, I make the fights, and they either win them or lose them on their own. has nothing to do with me. Okay, so can you imagine like a 75-year-old Dana sitting there? Do you smoke cigars, drink whiskey? I don't, you do something probably, right? No. Hey, okay, well, imagine you're smoking a cigar, sitting in your porch 75, thinking, you remember when those guys thought Ashkin was going to come here, and then I got his ass kicked three times? <laughs> like, I can just picture that in my head. That's, like, so funny. And, like, that's probably what I would do if I was in your situation. I'd laugh you and Woodley it. must hang out a lot. That's, like, that's funny, though. <laughs> that's, think about that. That's a funny picture. And then set, That's and, a total Woodley conspiracy. I can hear you that's two funny. in the gym. You come on. Oh, you're trying to get me beat, I'm too. Goosey. I'm Goosey. 
that I right got more answers. Answer. But that's a funny visual. Think about the visual. <laughs> Number two is, listen, I wanted to pick on Darren Till. He's annoying as shit. Um, in the first phone call, they said Robbie, and I said, okay. Obviously, Robbie, if you look at his skill set, one of the worst matchups in the top 10 for me. Uh, you know, does pretty well against wrestlers, hits hard. That's what you need to beat me, right? Now, that's fair. I'm, I'm good with that, okay? I didn't come here for the right fight. I didn't come here for the easy fight. I didn't come here for the damn money fight. I came here to fight the best world and prove that I am. I want to compete, and so I'm ready to compete on March 2nd. All right. Undefeated. Two UFC 239 press conferences. Come on, raise my hand. <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys till I six. <laughs> So, that, um, so Ben, obviously you submitted Laura, uh, Robbie last time. I think it was very lucky, uh, and I think if you got back in the Good ring with him, Good thing we don't value I, your I opinion. Think, I think if you got back in the ring with him, he would knock you out. So why won't the rematch happen? Why? Because I said so. Because you're scared to fight him. Not true. I fought him the first time without any. Okay, and you got lucky with a submission. That's he had your you opinion. on the ground. He had me. You're right. I give up. Will you guys get someone on a damn mic to ask a real question? You're going to finish him. Hey, uh, Dana, what have you got to do to get uh, Mr. Nowitzki to visit Marlon's manager? Because he said on Twitter he knows for sure at least five people who are using EPO. Can we send like the DEA over there or Nowitzki or somebody to interrogate that man? For a lot of prospects, right? Who are the five guys that you want to face? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Got... Who are the five guys you want to face in the UFC right now? Five guys. Well, I, you know, I drew a map to my, to the end. Uh, I got, I got K Till, I got Usman, I got GSP, and I got Khabib. Right, Boom, bam, thank you, not man. It's not gonna happen, mate. You're gonna retire after Till, mate. LOL. You're gonna retire after Till, you're Ow, dead, mate. He sucks, he you're sucks. Dead, Give me a break. Next question, please. Right, so, so Ben, why can't Darren Till come back out here? That was so much fun. What? Give him a damn microphone. Ben, who would you rather fight, Darren Till or Dana White? <laughs> well, it, 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 in all fairness, I don't like unfair fights. So fighting Dana, that's fairly unfair. So we'll, go, we'll stick with Till. And he said he started fighting because every fighter wants to. It's this really weird thing. It's like, we should all know that we're tough and we're strong. We fight people in a cage for a living. But there's this extra necessity to have this more bravado. I'm so tough, I'll fight anyone right now. It's like, you sound like a dumbass, just shut up. Is that a bit like what Kamara was doing backstage? Yes, yes. I mean, did you even see me budge? I didn't even move, because he ain't gonna do shit. What's he gonna do? Nothing. You know what I mean? It's like, and that, and that, that puff your chest out mentality, I, man, I can't, it bugs me. It really does. It should bug all of you also. Is it just because you think it's so unnecessary? Like, you guys fight in a cage for a living, yeah. there's no need to do it? Is it's, that... it's, to it's totally unnecessary, and a lot of it is fake. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what? He got me earlier at the hotel. I don't know if you guys have ever had this experience, but I, this happens to me a lot at wrestling tournaments. I'll see someone, and I'll just, my brain will go first, and I recognize that person. So I'll give them a, hey, what's up? And then I'll be like, fuck, that was whoever. I don't really like that person. You know, I shouldn't have given him a what's up. So at the hotel, I walked right past him. I kind of gave him what's up because just my brain wasn't clicking. And I'm like, oh, damn it. I didn't mean to do that, you know? But it was like we walked past each other with no one around. He didn't threaten to do anything. Did he not give you a WhatsApp back? Uh, I think he ignored me. I don't, you know, I don't, I like, yeah, it was really quick. You know, it was like I turned the corner and I had just a face and I said, I, oh, I know that face. Hey, what's up, you know? And so, yeah, but he didn't do anything. So when cameras weren't around, he didn't do anything. I mean, he's not dumb enough. I mean, I, I'm starting to think he's kind of slow. But he's definitely not dumb enough to do something that's going to risk his title shot. 
right? I mean, if he just attacks someone, they're going to they're gonna think twice about giving him the title uh, title shot. And, you know, even worse things can happen, obviously. So he's not that stupid. Oh, okay, let me see. When I tick hear top, that there's a top, lot of English top. inbreeding, all I have to do is look at you. Martyrs, baby. Boom, Rosen. Anybody else? All right, thanks, guys.